Hello everybody, today I'm working on my collage book again, my precious collage book and I have done everybody's one precious thing but as I was going through some of these things I came across Karina's and although I've used something in the book already from Karina's I noticed this little note on the front here and it says, in fact, the thing I would send is this one. Um, so although she sent me, oh, she sent this beautiful little booklet here full of lovely, precious things. If she was only sending one, it would have been this one. And I haven't used it, so I'm going to use it. And apart from that, I've used everybody's one precious thing. Plus Plus, you know a few other things that they've sent so what I thought I think she's she's just attached that lightly what I thought because it's a handkerchief perhaps we could make one of those those little um, envelopes out of this because I have a pocket in the book um, but will it fit that's the thing because that's we could overlap it a bit really I uh, hope you can see this. So maybe we'll fold that and then down like that a bit. And then in like that and in in like that. But then you don't see that. So maybe like that like that and like that and like that that way I get to see that part there and then this part goes down like that and that would fit and find the page So here's the page, and then that would fit inside that pocket. Um, but I'm thinking I may have to attach it to some cardstock because it is very fine. So sew it to a piece of cardstock and then do the folding. But I like the idea of keeping it, you know, all in one piece rather than cutting it up and making sure. Yes, that's right. So that's what I'm going to do. That's exactly how I'm going to fold it, although I will iron it. Um, I, will, I will get a piece of paper. I wonder if I've got any here. Pretty paper. I don't want, I actually don't want something too, um, overly patterned because I wonder if this one would work. This is lovely. This is Rose Avenue Collection. It's one of my favourite books from Kaisercraft, but it's quite plain, isn't it? So it won't um, detract from the handkerchief. If I put the pink inside and have just this outside like under there then it, you just get a glimpse of it and it would look pretty so I think that's what I will do I will use this and I will cut it slightly smaller than the handkerchief itself sew it all around and then press it into I'll come back, I will iron the hanky, cut out the cardstock and sew all around and then we'll fold it together. Okay, I'm back. So, I mean, it is a bit off, but it's okay. It's fine. I still get the beauty. There's some beautiful things in here. The book and the pages are made of cardboard from new socks that she got for Christmas. Isn't that lovely? See, there's this gorgeous button here. Maybe we could put that there. Isn't that, that's lovely button. 
Maybe we will do that. Um, it's like the, the whole book can come apart because even even the button on the front is just stitched on so if I wanted to I could use that but I'm not going to because and we have used a button out of this already isn't that lovely that button so we could we could have that there uh, do we want it there or there have it there. Hmm. I could put it to the side so it's not covering that because the whole thing's a little bit lopsided anyway the way I've done it. <laughs> um, this is gorgeous. This is a glass button and I could have it to the side like that because that's okay to have things a little bit offside isn't it? And I could put a bit of this beautiful applique piece. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Maybe I can cut a little bit off, although... Um, I love the rhinestones. Let's have a look. Just a little. It's almost... Oh, I know what I can do. See, that's a piece there. That's a piece there. There's two little flowers here. I could have the two, sorry, the two little petals there. I could have used the two little petals there as well. Like that. Perhaps. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Had to do a few things. Um... So that's the page. I've just popped it in to make sure it would fit. I had to, sorry, I had to, that's, I had to recharge my camera because the plug doesn't reach to here. So that's been in there a little bit while I was recharging. That's going to go there like that. I did cut the little leaves out so that will go like that there. And what I thought would be the other part of it, of this applique piece here that I think that was down here somewhere or it was somewhere there I will put onto here and then cut the end bits off and probably put them in those corner pieces there I have one of the tags we made that will fit in this envelope um, then I also thought I'd like to have a ribbon because that's going to be off center there so we can still see that a ribbon this is the laces from Grace and she sent some lovely pink seam binding it must have been on the packaging so I'm thinking that will go nicely because it's pink inside there's also pink on the page here as well and so that will be more or less like say that with that and that under there like that and it will go in like that so just so the I have to put that high enough so that the button is on this side and not under the pocket part there I think that will work quite well but I'd like to add something more on this page here um, just you know because there's room to add more and I have a quite a lot I can play with so I'll put that to one side and just I've got all my stuff here now it's not just select you know the things that I haven't used um, like there's lots of little buttons and remember I said I'd like to add some buttons on that that page with the doily so I'll put those over there so they can go on that page um, there's lots of pieces of lace and remember I have added these to the book as well but I just get the chance to look through everything now and see what I might like to add um, so 
There's this little bit of ribbon in here. It's, and it's just like a labeling kind of ribbon, but it could work. Or it could work just there. And that was from Lella. She sent the um, handkerchief with the L on it. In fact, that looks quite nice there. I think I might put that there. And that's from Lilla Levine. And there's a whole bag here from Beate. And there's other things in there as well. And she made this beautiful booklet. Look at this. It's amazing. It's, it's very simple but so beautiful. So there's all this, this tattered lace here. A gorgeous little card. But look, there's these lovely doily. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that one. But it looks like part of the actual little booklet. Isn't it beautiful? It's really, really lovely. It's only made out of paper bags. I love this little doily here. I wonder if we could do like a little collage down here as well. Maybe just have that to there and put a doily here. Because that's pretty, isn't it? And that's, that will be kind of poking out. Let's see. Put that in there. Try not to fold the end bit up. Like that, that, like that, like that, like that. Um... That there, maybe. Let's see, look at the beautiful things in here. And I have used some, like I've said. Wow, these are really antique pieces in here. They're just gorgeous. Oh, that's right. We used some of this on the inside cover. Oh, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Little labels. TN or NT. Beautiful. Um, I wonder if we could use a piece of that on that side of the tag. Maybe we could do that. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's actually might be nice, like on a page of some sort. Um, let's keep looking in here. Oh, that's beautiful. Maybe we could just layer that up like that because it's not a journal to write in or anything, so I don't have to worry about that aspect of it. Maybe I'll put that there. And of that there. Like that. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's so delicate, but it might be too delicate. Oh. Well, not really. Actually, I think we'll use a bit of that on there. These are amazing laces, Beato. Okay. So we can pop that on that side of the tag. Mm -hmm. 
Oops, just a moment, I need to go help my son. He's rearranging his room. Just let me put this away. Alright, so that was on the back of the tag. Okay. There's these things that Olivia sent. Absolutely beautiful um, pieces. And I'm wondering... I'm wondering if we could put one of those there, like that. That's gonna go. That's gonna go up there a little bit more. That actually goes. Put that there. That goes inside the envelope. Just make sure this is going to, you know, flow. Like that. That could look pretty. I'll have it coming down off the doily a little bit. So we'll use that. That's from Olivia Hernandez really really pretty applique pieces um, put that over there what else can we use on this page um, I kind of want something up here in the background coming in and out he's reorganizing his room um, and our front door is really noisy so there's that little one here I just I don't I, I don't want anything jagged or anything because that silk um, doily is going against it I don't want anything to catch on it I used one of these I think there were two and that's from Donna. And that, that beautiful beaded tassel was from Donna as well. Actually, after some buttons and things. Now, I do have these ones here. I could choose. Where did I see those buttons? There were some more. this beading and I'm just trying to work out where I used it. I don't want it directly near a page that I put it on before and I don't think it is it's a couple of pages away maybe we could use a little bit of this again it's really pretty I've only got a little bit left haven't I oh, beautiful going up like that that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, so we could use that there. Um, and put those on that other page. these as well. These are from Patricia. She sent a number of things. I have used some already. Uh, maybe we could make her like a, put a, a um, these lovely buttons. Oh, this is the one with the, the special um, stone in it as well. This it's got the 
two shell buttons on it. Okay. So we could use that. I'll need to, I know this is a Oh, masonite, I think it is, she said. And get it out. Doesn't want to come out. That's what it is there. A little bit of masonite. Doesn't quite go on that page, but I think I know the page that it might go on. Um, so I'll I'll keep that over here. Um, no, I need to put it there, but I'll keep it in mind. Do I want to add a charm on here as well, perhaps? There's a lovely dragonfly. Oh, there's a butterfly, a silver butterfly. Butterfly, maybe we'll add the butterfly there. We can stitch that or glue that on. Okay, put that back in that little bag. Uh, oh, hang on, that's a little bit of fabric she had from a, a dress, too. So I'll we'll put that in there. Well, that would have looked nice on the back of the tag. We can put that on another tag, I think. Or maybe we could do that and put two tags in there. If two tags will fit, which I'm sure they will. So maybe we will use this little bit. It's almost like a pocket in itself. And decorate the back. Maybe have to cut it down a little. Or just use it that way. Like that. We could do that. I could trim it down just a little bit there with my scissors so it's more like that. Put it on that side. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then I will be back. Okay, so that page has been finished now. I did add a little bow here and that ribbon was from Nadine Basso. Um, she'd used it in some of her packaging, so I used it to um, sew that little sample piece on there. I've got the beaded necklace there. I have the, the doily piece and the uh, little bit of... Um, ribbon trim from Lilla. It's from Olivia Hernandez. This one here is from Beate. This one here is from... Just a moment. Oh, Annie. Rosie Posy. Rosie Posy Crafts. That's that beautiful beaded piece there. These pieces are from Patricia Brightwell. The button is from Karina. Oh, and our envelope in here, the lovely napkin piece or handkerchief pieces from Karina also and the applique there. The ribbon is from uh, Grace. So let's have a look. It's all sewn together. That's the inside. There's the applique from Karina. And then inside I have, there's actually two little pockets that ended up. In the front one, I've put those lace pieces on the back there. And they are from Beate. And on the other one, we already had this part done. And that's the fabric piece from Patricia. So that goes in the back pocket there. And then there's a little pocket at the front there, so it worked out quite nicely for that. And I really do like how the way this little envelope turned out. It looks really quite pretty and very simple to make as well. And all I do is I 
go like that and like that and then I just tuck this ribbon underneath there like that to hold it in place and pop that in the pocket there the button just goes over the edge like that so that's that page there and then I went ahead also and sewed some buttons on um, these one two three buttons here are from Raylene Raylene Rowley I think that's right isn't it let me just double check that um, I have used some of her other buttons as well yes Raylene Rowley um, and then these two here, these lovely buttons, are from Peugeot. They were in her packet. There's a couple more spaces if I want to put a couple more buttons on. And that's just that um, Lilla's handkerchief piece that goes there, so over there. So I can put the book back together again and I shall see you tomorrow um, working on some more pages. Take care everybody and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.